Hello everyone. I want to once again welcome you to Kathy's Creole Kitchen. Today we're going to be making Louisiana dirty rice. I know you know what I'm talking about because everyone loves Louisiana dirty rice. So let me give you the ingredients and we can get started. First off, you have to have three cups. Well, I put four cups. Four cups of cooked white rice. Um, one fourth pound of ground pork one half pound of ground beef you can add more meat if you want to but this is the consistency that i like uh one whole chopped onion three-fourths cup of chopped bell pepper one and a half um tablespoons of celery chopped up fine two um garlic cloves chopped fine two teaspoons of Creole seasoning, one teaspoon of salt, but that's to be added if the, season, the Creole seasoning didn't salt you enough. And I have some um, chopped shallots to put on top for garnish. And then I have probably two tablespoons of chicken liver to be cooked with the ground beef and ground pork. So the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna Turn the fire on the skillet. I use a iron skillet because I like the way it cooks. It cooks real evenly. It doesn't stick. It smooths out everything. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cook the, the meats together. We're gonna cook the ground pork, the ground beef, and the chicken liver. And I know people are saying chicken liver, ugh. But that's what gives it the taste. My mom always taught me that you can't make dirty rice without chicken liver. So that's what I'm using. I'm using some chicken liver and we're gonna get this heated up and let's get this on there and take a look. And guys, please subscribe to my YouTube page, Kathy's Creole Kitchen and like my videos and leave me messages and let me know if you made one of the dishes that I presented and how it came out for you. You can leave me notes, leave me tips, anything you like. So we're gonna... Get this in there. Gonna get the, the meat in there. All the meat. And as you cook it, I don't want to put the liver in quite yet because I don't want it to burn. But as you cook the meat, I want you to chop it up. Don't let it uh, get into big chunks because you want to be able to mix it evenly into the rice. So we're gonna get this cooked. And browned real nice and once we get it cooked and browned we'll go to the next step okay so I think the uh, ground beef is brown enough so now we're gonna off the fire and I'm gonna take a slotted spoon out because I'm going to take out the lip because there's a procedure you have to do with the lip so there's the liver there taking out the liver you want to be able to smash up the liver because you don't want to bite into a big old hunk of liver. That doesn't, I don't like that. So I take the liver out, put it in the bowl, stir this again so it doesn't stick. The beef is nice and brown. Now we're going to take a fork and we're going to smash the liver. That's all we're gonna do. We're gonna take the cooked liver and we're gonna smash it because you wanna be able to mix it up nicely with the meat. And I might be able to have to cut it. So let's get a knife. And we're gonna cut it up to make sure it's nice and crumbled up in the, the food, in the meat. So this is what you do with it. You just Crumble it all up because you're going to mix it in with the meat. And that gives it a distinct taste. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to finish mashing it up. Spoon. Make sure it's nicely mashed. This is just my process, how I do it. So however you want to mash it, get it all mashed up. So you can get all blended with the ground beef and the pork. So that's what we're going to do. Put that there. 
now we're going to take this slide spoon here and we're going to take out the meat that we cooked. And you don't want to just pour it in there because you want to leave some of the little fat renderings in the pan that uh, we've used. That's left in the pan. You want to leave that fat rendering left in the pan. It's not very much because I use Nola Rhine ground beef. So it's a really high quality beef that doesn't have a lot of fat in it. So now we're just going to set that meat to the side. You can see it's nice and brown. And now we're going to take, uh, we're going to put the fire back on the skillet. And we're going to put it on like a medium heat. And we're going to add the um, onions. I'm going to put those in there. We're going to add the bell pepper. Going to add the celery. Get there. All these flavors give this a unique taste. We're going to put that there and that right there. We're going to add the garlic. And we're going to cook this. We're going to add this, the, K, the Creole seasoning in a little bit, but for now, we're just going to cook this down because, you know, it takes a couple of three minutes to get it cooked down and transparent. So we're just going to do that, go back and forth, and when it's cooked down, we're going to add the Creole seasoning. So let me do this, and then we'll add the Creole seasoning. Okay, I've been cooking the vegetables about six or seven minutes, they're transparent. <laughs> now I'm gonna add the Creole season. And there was one ingredient I forgot to mention. I have a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. <laughs> Excuse me. But we don't add this till the final step. But right now I'm gonna put in the uh, Creole season. I'm gonna sprinkle that over the vegetables, like so. And then we're gonna mix it up and lower the fire down low. so that um, we can mix this all over the vegetables. Smells delicious. I need smell vision for my audience so that you guys can smell this. So we've got that mixed in. We're gonna turn, return the meat to the mixture. Here's the meat that I set aside with the liver in there. We're gonna make sure it's all mixed in there and crumbled up in there. So we're gonna put that in there. Get that all back in there. And we're going to cook this about five minutes so that all the ingredients have merged together and it gives it that wonderful flavor. But the final step is going to be to add the rice and the meat and then we add the salt if we need it and we add the cayenne pepper. But we're going to add the rice to the meat. That's why I'm brought out a bigger skillet, but we're going to cook this for about five minutes so that all, well, maybe three or four minutes so that all the flavors merge together and then we'll get back to the final step. Okay, I've got a larger skillet. I've heated up the seasoning with the meat, so I've got a larger skillet, and to that skillet, I'm going to add probably um, a tablespoon and a half of cooking oil because I don't want the rice and the meat to stick. So let's add this. A tablespoon and a half of cooking oil. I'm going to up the heat to heat up the, the skillet. I'm going to let it heat up so that we can mix the rice and the other seasoning and the meat together because you want this is all one thing merging together all the delicious tastes so let's, oops, this is a little warm 
too long for me to pick up. So we're going to grab this. We're going to dump it in here into the larger skillet. And now we're going to get the rocks, the four cups of rocks. We're going to dump it in there. We're going to mix it all up together. Like so. Just like so. Just mix it all up together. But I am going to add some cayenne because it's not spicy at all. So I'm going to add, that's probably about a half teaspoon. Let's see how that works out. I'm going to turn the fire down low so we don't burn it. and I'll let you take a look at how it, I'll let you see how it looks. All righty, I've plated it. This is how it looks when you plate it as a side dish. It goes with anything. Dirty rice is good for everything or good by itself. I love dirty rice, but that's how it looks. Let's give it a taste. Delicious, absolutely delicious. Take a look. It's yummy. Very good. Mm. I just want to eat it all up right now. But if you want to make this dish for more people, you can double the ingredients or even triple them. But it comes out very good. But when you double the ingredients and triple it, you have to watch what you how you season it. So start off with not double the seasoning, but maybe if you're gonna make a whole pound of ground beef and a half pound of pork, then I would try three teaspoons of Creole seasoning to start out. And like I said, you can add as much cayenne pepper as you want or as little. And to make the dish really pretty, you just sprinkle some little shallots on top, little onion tails, shallots, whatever you wanna call them. And it makes it all nice and pretty. But thank you so much for joining Kathy's Creole Kitchen today. Please make my recipe, follow me on YouTube, and subscribe to my videos and like my videos. Thank you so much for joining me at Kathy's Creole Kitchen, and y'all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Thank you.